Good morning, world. I'm coming to you live from the garden. Things are growing. <gasps> I feel like something's eating that pepper. Of course it is. Oh, my basil's looking better. So these little three things here, and that little guy, and these two, I feel like they look different from these sweet peas here. So I don't know if these are sweet peas, sweet pea flowers, not the actual pea pods. The pea pods are in here. We got the first one coming up right there. So some exciting stuff is in these pots. My watermelon came up. And here we've got a tomato that came up. Another tomato, another one here, 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 and this guy looks crazy, but it's doing it here. So today, I'm going to be harvesting this, the lemon balm. A couple of days ago, I harvested the oregano that was right here. So today, I'm going to harvest the rest. And I'm gonna harvest this mound of lemon balm. And I'm gonna put it in my new basket that my mom got me. But that lemon balm needs to be harvested before it starts flowering. If I leave it to flower, then the flavor of this whole thing is not gonna be as great. So I'm cutting it down till about down there. And I'm giving it all to my sister so that she can dry it and save it for the year. Can you imagine? I've never seen the lemon balm so big. It looks like a big bush. And then we got the mint. And then over here is the sage. This mint here, I was gonna pull it from the pot because it was looking crazy, but it's looking a lot better now, so I'm gonna leave it. So in these pots, I finally planted cucumbers cucumbers the chicago pickling then i think in that pot is the lemon cucumbers i think this might be flowers and more cucumbers i forgot what i planted there i planted some flowers there and green beans here tomatoes in here and more tomatoes in that middle pot so that green pot is empty still and then these felt pots back here, the four, those are still empty. My strawberry. Where is it? Oh, oh, look at that. It's changing color. <laughs> so exciting. I'm hoping that this tomato ripe, I mean tomato, I'm hoping that this strawberry ripens on like a Monday, Wednesday, or a Friday so I can bring it to my aunt when I go visit her. My first homegrown strawberry of the season. Gamma. Everything back there is looking good in the raised bed. I planted some okra seeds in there as well. So once they start growing, I can start removing all the pots that are in there that, you know, still have to be filled in that corner over there, that little pot is grass. That's all the grass that's been growing here. I've been pulling it, and since I love the grass so much, I decided to keep a pot of it for myself. This um, sweet pea flower is a dwarf variety, so you see how little it is compared to the others, and this one was planted first. And here is another variety of oregano called oregano brujo I gotta water this let me go water everything and then I'll no let me trim the lemon balm first and then I'll water everything
so that's what it looks like now. You can see the flowers there. What a difference. So I'm not gonna, I decided not to clip the oregano today because I'm still drying the one upstairs. When that dries, then I'll come back for more oregano. I'm gonna pull this guy here. Oh no, the milkweed. Um, I'm leaving the milkweed in other spots, but I don't want it in the raised bed. I mean, not in the raised bed, I don't want it in the herb garden. So this is the harvest. Oh. So this is a basket full of lemon balm. Literally full of lemon balm. <laughs> so my sister is gonna have enough lemon balm for the whole year. It's sad to have cut it down, <laughs> but it's for the greater good of the plant. All right, so now I'm gonna put this here. And I'm going to get the holes and I'm going to water everything.